I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord which made heaven and the earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth even forevermore. Amen. My brothers and my sisters, we are gathered here in this place today to celebrate the life of our beloved brother A.C. Lovelace into eternal life. And I do say celebrate. We celebrate the great God of our salvation. We give God thanks for the gift of life. Amen. The gift of Brother A.C. to each and every one of us. And we give thanks to God because we know that God is with us. I say God is with us. He's with us in life as well as this transitory state that we elect to call death. Therefore, we glory in his presence. Come on and pray with me. God, we bless you. We thank you. We thank you for this day because truly it is the day that you've made. We rejoice. We are glad in it. We thank you, Lord God, that you are the author and you are the finisher of our faith. 
We thank you, Lord God, that you are our creator and our sustainer. We thank you that you are the giver of life and that you are the giver of every good and perfect gift. And we come thanking you today, Lord God, for the gift of Brother A.C. We come thanking you, Lord God, for the life that you have blessed to touch so many of us and to have a marvelous impact. We, we thank you, Lord God, for the life that has meant so much to so many. We come now, Lord God, uh, because our, our hearts are heavy, our spirits are saddened, Lord God, uh, and we're struggling even in this moment but we thank you that you promised to be with us and we thank you Lord God that you're able to lift our bow down heads you're able to give us comfort you're able to give us strength you're able to dry our weeping eyes so God I pray that you would meet us in this space that you would shine your light of grace and mercy upon us that you would speak to our hearts even now uh, bless this family bless us the love ladies bless us the sherry bless all uh, oh, Lord God that's under the sound of my voice allow us Lord God to feel your touch in Jesus name we thank you bless all that shall transpire in this hour uh, allow your spirit to move in a mighty way that our hearts and minds would be blessed in the mighty matchless name of Jesus we ask it all amen amen I would ask that all persons except for the family please rise uh, as we join our music ministry in lifting this great hymn of praise blessed assurance Jesus is mine oh what a foretaste of glory divine I'm an heir of salvation I have been purchased by God born of his spirit washed in his blood this is my story that was brother AC's story uh, this is my song praising my Savior all the day long Jesus is mine, oh what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchased of God, born of his spirit, lost in his love, this is my this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission. Perfect submission, perfect delight, visions of matter now burst on my sight. Angels descending, bring from above echoes of mercy, whispers of this is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Submission, all is at rest. I and my Savior am happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, looking above, filled with His goodness. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is 
is my story, this is my song. Amen. Amen. As you re as you remain standing, we're going to uh, ask our, our, our deacons to come, our sister Donna, amen, and Deacon Staggers to come and share in our scripture readings for uh, this early afternoon. Amen. Psalm 23 and John 14, respectively. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. Mm -hmm. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely, surely, mm -hmm. goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Amen. 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 I will be reading John chapter 14, verses 1 through 6, and it will be read from the King James Version. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions, and if it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. There where I am, there ye, there ye may be also. And whether I go ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Amen. Amen. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and the hearing of his holy word. As you go to your seat, Evangelist Seville is going to come and she's going to lead us to the throne of grace. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. I first give honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the head of my household. To the family, our prayers are continually going up for each and every last one of you. Let us pray. Oh, Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Father, we just want to say thank you today, God, for this day. We thank you today, Father God, that where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And I thank you today, Father God, for the family of Lovelace. Thank you for our friends. Thank you for the Emmanuel as a whole. Father, we know today, God, that you are the God of all comfort. I thank you for the word that have already been spoken today because you tell us to let not your heart be troubled. So I thank you. you don't have to, we don't have to worry. don't have to stress. So, Father, comfort the family. Strengthen them in this time of their sadness. Thank you for memory. That, oh, God, they can think back of all of the good time that they had with their husband, with their friend, their brother, their sister, their brothers. So, Father, we want to say thank you again. And, oh, God, I ask you to move by your spirit today, God. In the name of Jesus, God, you know every head is nimming on their head, God. And I thank you today, Father God, because they know you. Thank you for Sister Clarice. Her daughter today, Marcus, and all of the family members. Father, even in that time when they feel sad, in the wee hours of the night, help them to call upon you, Father, because you, God, are a very present help 
in time of our need. So, Father, we thank you today, and we thank you because you're a promise keeper. And, oh, God, we do come to celebrate the life of our dear brother because, God, you know, hallelujah, you have called him home from his labor to his reward. So we want to say thank you again, my God, thanking you today, Father, they can put their trust, their dependency on you, God, because you, Father, will never fail them. You are a very present help in their time of trouble. So I just want to say thank you again, God. So breathe down on them today. In the name of Jesus, let them feel your presence. Oh, my Savior, I thank you today. Give them joy, unspeakable joy, for the joy of the Lord is their strength. So we want to say thank you again, God, and thank you for the Emmanuel as a whole. Thank you for our pastor, First Lady Nichols, today, Father. We bless your wonderful holy name. Let your anointing fall afresh, God, because, God, truly, we need you in this time and in this hour. And I thank you because you tell us we can call upon you, and you will answer us. And you will show us great and mighty things we know if not. So we marvel at you today, God. So strengthen this family today, your children today, Father God. Oh, my God, we want to say thank you today. We bless you. We love you, Father God. And we thank you today, God, that you, God, hallelujah, have prepared a home for all of those that know you, that have called on the name of Jesus. So we marvel at you and we bless your name. Have your way today. Have your way today, God. But this is your day. So we praise you, we honor you, and we thank you. In Jesus' name, we do ask. Amen.
sing it. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. Sing it. No, not one. We're singing. No. Amen. I don't know about you, but I'm glad that Jesus knows where I am. I say I'm glad that I know he knows what I'm dealing with in my struggles. And not only does he know, but he cares. And not only does he care, but he's able to lift me. Amen. Thank, thank you, choir. Thank you. Thank you. At this time, we're going to invite our, our church clerk, Sister Van, to come uh, share in acknowledgments. Amen. Uh, and we'll proceed from there. Praise God, from whom all blessings flow. And we must continue to praise God in spite of our circumstance. And to Sherry, Sister Lovelace, and the family, you all just continue to hold on to God's unchanging hands. And he will see you through this time of bereavement. And good afternoon to everyone. So I stand on behalf of Emmanuel to read acknowledgments. And uh, we have quite a few acknowledgments. It seems like Brother Lovelace's hands was in every ministry of the church. So we can't read them all, but we will acknowledge where they came from. So all of these are ministries of Emmanuel Baptist Church. The diaconate ministry, Deacon Wilson Staggers, the chairperson, and Deaconess Donna Moore. Uh, the family zone ministry, Brother James Person is the chairman. The women's club, Beverly McKnight, president. The Women of Emmanuel Ministry, Alfreda Hester, President, and the Volunteer Choir, Charlotte Clipper, President, and also the Men's Ministry, where Trustee Barry Newton is the chairperson. Okay, this letter comes from Mount Airy Baptist Church, and this is from Gretna, Virginia. The Mount Airy Baptist Church family were saddened to hear of the passing of our former member, Brother A.C. Lovelace. A.C. joined the Mount Airy Baptist Church at a young age and remained a faithful member until he went into service. We remember A.C. as being a kind and loving person who cared deeply for his family members. He leaves a legacy of faith, hope, and love in his gracious words and deeds, which will be an abiding comfort in the months ahead. We extend to the family our heartfelt sympathy and stand with you in your hour of sorrow. Even when we don't understand and the pain seems too much to bear, we should not give up. We are to continue seeking the Lord through his word and prayer. He allows adversity for a reason and demonstrates his sustaining power through it. God never intends for any of us to carry a burden alone. Rather, he tells us to give it to him and promises to see us through challenging times no matter what. So we say to the family, let God be your refuge during this difficult time, and he will sustain you in the days to come. Sorrowfully submitted the Mount Airy Baptist Church family, Reverend Larry S. Patterson, pastor, and Ms. Doris W. Lovelace, church clerk. On behalf of the MedStar Health Heart Failure Program, we send our condolences on the passing of Mr. A.C. Lovelace. Mr. Lovelace and his family have been an inspiration to us all. His courage and bravery serve as a shining example of the human spirit. We were so blessed to be able to care for him and his family in their time of need. Mr. Lovelace came to each and every clinic visit with a smile on his face. It has been an honor to serve Mr. Lovelace and his family. He will be greatly missed. And this is on behalf of our team. We pray for Mr. Lovelace and his family in this most difficult time. And may he rest in peace. And this is from Barack Shaked. I'm going to ask that the trustee ministry please stand. Going home. When God calls his children home, his angels come to take them by the hand leading them along a shining path into a place of peace and light. Home at last, they see the Lord open his arms, welcoming them with a smile into the everlasting joy and peace that is his love. As the Lord welcomes Brother A.C. home to perfect peace, may he also comfort you and lead you through your sorrow. Dear Deaconess 
Clarice Lovelace, Sister Sherry, Brother Marcus, and the Lovelace family. Those who have brought us joy, made us laugh, and shown us love have given, have given us the lasting gifts of a beautiful life and blessed your memories forever. The trustee ministry of the Emmanuel Baptist Church rejoices in the life of our dear friend, former trustee, chair, friend, advisor, and laborer in vineyards for our Lord, Brother A.C. Lovelace. Brother A.C. was elected to the position of trustee at Emmanuel Baptist Church in 2005 under the pastoral leadership of the late Reverend Dr. Clinton W. Austin. In 2019, he was elected to the position of trustee chair under the leadership of our pastor, Reverend Dr. Christopher Nichols. Brother A.C. faithfully served Emmanuel as our chair until he stepped down in December 2023. He took pride in overseeing the maintenance of Emmanuel's property and building. Yet, his journey as a trustee did not stop upon him stepping down. He continued to support the work of the trustee ministry. He volunteered to serve as the watchful eye of safety at our sanctuary front doors, greeting people as they entered the church through our main sanctuary entrance. Sitting at his, cus at his cushion chair in the sanctuary lobby, Brother A.C. was an ever-present greeter with a smile and a chuckle. The transition of a loved one is never easy. Our first thoughts and emotions are on the grief of our loved one no longer being with us. We can no longer physically hug them, talk to them, or visit with them. After the initial shock, our focus and strength is through, have, through our Heavenly Father, which settles us down, and through faith, we remember God's promises through the scriptures. To be absent in the body is to be present with the Lord, 2 Corinthians 5 and 8. Jesus' assurance in telling us, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am, John 14 and 3. These promises give us hope and comfort, for we know our dear trustee brother is now resting in the arms of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And be it resolved to the family, we know your loss is deep and profound and your pain is great, but we share in your sorrow. And when this day is over, we would like you to remember, in case there's a time when you need cheer, in case there's a problem you like us to hear, in case there's a favor you like us to do, we're here if you need us to help see you through. And we are keeping you in our prayers. May God give you peace beyond understanding in the days to come. Humbly submitted on this 22nd day of March, trustee ministry of Emmanuel Baptist Church, Fanny Barksdale, the chairperson. Okay. All right, and this uh, acknowledgement is from the ushers ministry. So the ushers, would you please stand if you're not already standing? <laughs> Okay, for a day in the courts is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. Brother Lovelace joined the senior ushers ministry many years ago and was a dedicated and committed member. He was always willing to lend a helping hand wherever needed. He often provided transportation for members to events and to services at other churches. He always participated in all activities sponsored by the ministry. He was instrumental in obtaining new badges and t-shirts for the ministry. He served as president from 2014 to 2016, and later when his duties as trustee would overlap with his duties as usher, he would always come and check to see if anything was needed. Brother Lovelace was dependable and enjoyed ushering. He would often try to encourage others to join the senior usher's ministry. He loved to joke and was fun to be around. And we, the Senior Usher Ministry, share in the family's loss. And please know that we are here to assist you in any way needed. Brother Lovelace will be missed, but we are confident in knowing that his mission down here has wonderfully fulfilled and he will be rewarded for death is not an ending. It's just a continuation of life that God has planned. And this is done by order of Emmanuel Baptist Church, Senior Usher Ministry, Sister Ivis Brittingham, President. And lastly, this from Emmanuel Baptist Church. Precious memories, how they linger, 
how they ever fill my soul. In the stillness of the midnight, precious memories do unfold. To Deaconess Claricia Lovelace, Sister Sherry Robinson, and family. On this glorious day that the Lord has made, Pastor Christopher L. Nichols, First Lady Letitia Nichols, and the entire Emmanuel Baptist Church family extend our heartfelt and sincere sympathy to you, family and friends, in the loss of your dear husband, Trustee A.C. Lovelace, one who has served this branch of Zion faithfully and diligently throughout the years. Brother Lovelace joined this branch of Zion in 1998, 26 years ago, with a special interest in giving and helping others, and he did just that. He was a family man, his wife and daughter always at his side. He was a man of God and a hard, diligent worker who served here at Emmanuel in so many capacities. The small four-letter word, help, was a big word for Brother Lovelace. He was blessed down through the years to serve and participate as chairman of the trustee ministry, the men's ministry, the senior ushers ministry, the 2006 nominating committee, the parking lot ministry, the safety ministry, the zone ministry, <laughs> the community share program, and food giveaway distributions. He was regular in attendance and other activities, always supportive in edifying the church. On any get given day, not just Sunday, he would be present at Emmanuel, inspecting, always had a piece of paper in his hand or a notepad, making sure that whatever needed to be done was completed. And because of his faithfulness to our church, on October 29, 2023, he graciously received and accepted an acknowledgement of appreciation for going beyond the call of duty. As his health began to decline, he continued to answer the calling of serving and helping others. Romans 12, 9 tells us to honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer and share with the Lord's people who are in need. We are grateful and thankful that God sent and loaned Brother Lovelace to Emmanuel for just a little while. To the family, may God grant you peace, strength, and comfort during this time of bereavement and continue to hold steadfast to one of Brother Lovelace's favorite scriptures, Psalm 100, a psalm for giving grateful praise. And one of his favorite songs, just a little talk with Jesus. To the family, he will hear your faintest cry. He will answer by and by. Just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Number 624 through 26. Done by order of Emmanuel Baptist Church. Reverend Dr. Christopher L. Nichols, pastor, Sister Vanessa Davis, church clerk, and thank you. And God bless each and every one of you, and may heaven smile upon you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. We're certainly grateful. Amen. Sister Van. At this time, uh, we're going to invite uh, Trustee Emeritus William Jones, amen, to come uh, and share reflections, followed by uh, Brother Donald Davis, amen, amen. First, I give honor to God and to Pastor Nichols. Brother Lovelace have brought us together to celebrate and witness his homegoing service. And it is an honor to be standing here to say a few words. On behalf of our trustees, past and present, that's under the leadership of Chairman Fanny Boxdale. This great man here, Ace and Lovelace, he was a dedicated person. First of all, he was a man of God. And that is a 
true fact. He was a man of God. He worked under my leadership as a trustee all the way up until here. Last time when I stepped down as chairman. But he was a dedicated person, but he was quiet. But he was always there to reach out to help anybody. It didn't matter who. But he was a fixture here at Emmanuel Baptist. Once he became a member here. Deaconess Lovelace and to the Lovelace family, we'd like to thank you for sharing us with Brother Asa. We thank you. You were a helpmate and a caregiver all the way up to the end. All the way to the end. Just keep your head high. Keep holding on. We thank you. Sister Sherman, Brother Marcus, now's the time to step up and support your mother and your grandmother. She's going to need your help now. She's going to need that extra shoulder to, to lean on. Be there for her. And again, I want to thank you personally. Trustee Lovelace, during the pandemic, stepped up to the plate. He cared about the, the members here at Emmanuel when the church was shut down during the pandemic. He was concerned about the members. The members were concerned about those who sent their tithes and offers in the snail mail. And they got distributed all over the place because the church was closed when the mailman came through. So, but we came together with an idea. He always said, Jay, now what, what should we do? I said, well, look, this is what we should do. With the help of our custodian, Ramsey Chase, and with the help of Annette Bennett. Well, the Lovelace took it upon himself. They tracked down all the mail. They round up the mail. They went to the post office, and they make sure that mail came back here. <laughs> oh, what a dedication that was. You hear me? He went way beyond. And I thank God for him. So, Deaconess Lovelace, keep your head up high. We have nothing to be ashamed of. Just keep living and keep saying. And I will leave you with this. Y'all keep holding on. Keep trusting in the Lord. And to you, Brother Lovelace, to a soldier coming from a sailor, I salute you, my brother in Christ, with anchors away, my boy, anchors away, until we meet again. He is wishing you a happy voyage home. May God bless you. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. God bless you all. God bless your families. Uh, I'm 
try not to be long, but I had so much experience with this man. He was the he was a journeyman, and I was his apprentice. <laughs> Everywhere he went, I went. We would clean the parking lot across the street where the apartment building is now. Back in the back, they had sofas back there, chairs, ties, and Brother Lovelace jumped down there, and I'd be right with him. I said, I'm not going to let this old dude show me up. <laughs> He'd be working. And then when we cleaned the overflow parking lot, Brother, Brother Lovelace did everything but pull up stumps. <laughs> but I was right with him. And one day he got into the van. He was going to pick up the share food. And I got in the van with him. He said, where, where you going, Brother Donald? He said, I'm going with you. <laughs> and uh, it was like he didn't trust anybody to do this food because he wanted it done right. He wanted everybody supposed to get a bag, have a bag. And finally, he put his trust in me. And he let me go pick up the food. And then he trusted me to go to the food bank and get the food. Then he trusted me to help in the church. And, we, and when we cleaned the church, brother, brother Lovely be pushing the piano by itself. I said, let, me, let me help you, Brother Lovely. So I always be calling him. I call him. Y'all know I call him early in the morning. Because <laughs> things be on my mind. And I trusted him as much as he trusted me. And I would share with him my thoughts and share with him things that come in my life that was complicated to me, but I could always talk to AC. You know, and um, as time went on, we, we, he was my friend. You know, they say we lead by example. A.C. Lovelace was a perfect example for any young man or any man to follow. He was a hard act to follow. I'm still trying, and I'll never stop trying. He was really my friend. And I thank God that he put so many men in my life. I got so many new friends. I got so many new mamas. And I'm just so grateful. I want to share one more thing with y'all. And, and, I, and I have a salute for my friend, too. For you young men in, in, your, in your churches and your church families, take your time and look around and pay attention to different individuals. And you'll find the one you need to lead you, to help you grow in the church, to give you the ambition, the attitude, the fortitude, the courage to do what you have to do to edify God's house. If you think about it, we worked all our lives cleaning for Pharaoh, painting for Pharaoh, washing for Pharaoh, watching Pharaoh's kids. But now it's time to give it back to the church, give it back to God, because God just sent us through all that to train us so we can edify his house. Give me a minute. This is hard for me. <laughs> Present on. Rest in peace. 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 Dear brother, rest in peace. Order. Huh. Thank you. Amen. Certainly, certainly we're grateful to God for Brother Donald and certainly uh, Trustee Emeritus. Amen. Jones, amen. Uh, for sharing the impact of Brother A.C. in their lives. Amen. All of us have been impacted. Amen. In one way or the other. 
um, by, by, by Brother AC. Uh, at this time, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you have already done so. You've already read the obituary, amen. But if you have not, you can you can do that as uh, brother Reggie. Brother Reggie is going to come, Amen, and and bless us. And then we'll sit in our tent door to see what the Lord has to say to us today. I do declare that the Lord is speaking to us in every situation, uh, Amen. And uh, we 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 have to uh, be open and receptive to what God has has for us. So uh, as brother Reggie comes, Amen. Uh, we're going to prepare our hearts to receive what thus saith the Lord. Amen. To the family, may God comfort and strengthen you through these trying times. And may one day we all see Brother Lovelace, as we all walk around heaven. One of these mornings, and it won't be long, you'll look for me, and I Said I'm going to a place where there will be nothing, nothing for me to do but just walk around heaven all day. When I get to heaven. I'm going to scream and shout. No one will be able to Lord, put me out. My mother will be waiting and my father too. We'll join hands and we'll walk around heaven all day. so happy 
happy. I know just what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk around, walk around, walk around heaven. It's, 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 it's good to know, I say it's good to know, uh, that when this life is over, for those who have been washed in the blood of the Lamb, for those who have been saved, that yes, uh, not only do I have a home in glory, uh, but like Brother A.C., amen, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to walk those streets of gold. Amen. Y'all think a party, we, we got partying down here. Amen. Something awesome, something wonderful happens. A amen. Uh, in glory. A amen. We're certainly grateful to God for today. We're certainly uh, grateful to him for the presence of his spirit. As I shared with you earlier, we are, we're certainly gathered here today in this space to celebrate God uh, for the gift of the life of this, this, this great man, Brother A.C. Lovelace. Uh, we are certainly grateful to God for the gift. Uh, Brother Lovelace, Brother Lovelace, uh, as, as many of you, you know, grew up, uh, born, born, raised in, in a little place called Gretna, Virginia. Amen. Graduating from uh, North Northside High School. Amen. I could feel some kind of way. You know, people don't like the South Side, but North Side, North Side South uh, High School. Amen. And after graduating, he he would journey. He would make his journey. Amen. Up north. A, a, amen. He would join the army. Amen. He would join the army. Where where? Watch this. He would honorably serve. And his faithful service uh, achieved him a, a number of accom accommodations, a a amen, reading his obituary, amen, uh, recipient of the Good Conduct Medal, the Defense Service Medal, the Marksman Rifle Ribbon, a amen, brother, uh, but I needed to take Brother Lovelace to the range with me, a a amen. Uh, but it was after the army, after the army, he would relocate to this area and he, he would meet and marry, amen, his love for some 33 years, amen, praise the Lord. <laughs> Sister Clarissa, amen. And together they would embark uh, upon this journey together, a journey that would lead them to unite and begin working here at Emmanuel Baptist Church, the greatest church on this side of Southeast. A -a -a amen. Brother A.C., as you, as you heard, amen, in, in the letter from Mount Airy, amen, accepted the Lord at an early age, amen. Uh, praise God. And, and I declare, it's, it's something about when you, when, you, when you get introduced to God at a young age. A amen. A a amen. Bible is so right. And when you when you train a child in the way that they're supposed to go, when they get old, they won't depart from it. But but brother A C, Amen. He 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 would he would come. He and Sister Lovelace would come, and they would unite with this Emmanuel Baptist Church. And can I tell you, brother, brother Lovelace loved this church. I say he loved this church. He he loved serving. The Lord. And, and, and as you have already heard, I'm not even going to go through the list, but he was an active participant in about everything. A -a Amen. He, he was an active participant. He, he served in various uh, uh, number of capacities. And, uh, but but I, I just want to highlight just one because just one uh, really uh, accentuates uh, the essence of, of who Brother Lovelace was. Uh, he faithfully served, amen, in the back of the church with our senior usher ministry. Amen. 
I tell you, Brother A.C., he had a servant's heart. And saints, service is the key element of God's kingdom. Even Jesus himself declared, look, when he came to earth, I, I, I didn't come to be served, uh, but to serve. Uh, but in order to serve, especially saints in uh, today's self-seeking society, we must learn uh, what service is and how to have a servant's heart of the Lord. Because servant, if I'm, if I'm honest with you, being a, a serving, serving others, that, that's really not an easy task. Especially when we can't relate to or, or even get along with folk that are around us. And in this culture that is so divided on almost everything, genuine love and service for others, toward others, is a rare occurrence. Even Christians, help us Holy Ghost, who ought to be known for our love are hesitant to serve. Say amen, somebody. But that was not Brother Lovelace. You can always find him giving of his time, giving of his talent, giving of his treasure in the service of the Lord. Brother A.C. was a humble brother. A amen. Let me say that again. I say he was a humble brother. Uh, brother Jones mentioned he, he was quiet and unassuming. He, he was not like so many others that we see who got the big head. And who think so highly of themselves. No, no, brother A.C. was just a humble brother. Matter of fact, just a little country boy with a heart of gold. Who loved to garden, who loved to fish, who loved Vienna sausages and potted meat. And who loved that Washington football team down the... Lord have mercy. Who loved his family, who loved his church, who loved the Lord, and who served well. I tell you, he, he Brother Lovelace, possessed a servant's heart. And saints, having a, servant, a servant's heart means that you not only put others' needs ahead of your own, but it means that you, that you serve with the right motivation. My motivation is to please God. Not everybody else who's around me, but to please God. And rewards and recognitions and, uh, and even gratitude are not my motivations, but, but my motivation for Brother Lovelace is to do all I can while I can for the one who's been so good to me. That's where Brother, that's, that's, that there was Brother Lovelace. His life was one of selflessness and one of lending a helping hand. And a life was, uh, his life was one of, uh, of if I can help somebody, then my living is not in vain. Uh, he was not selfish but, uh, in, in, in try and or trying to impress folk, but he was a humble servant. I need to say it again. He was humble. Uh, he was one who had a sincere desire to serve the body of Christ and one who loved to usher. I, I just keep going back to that, Sister Van. As a matter of fact, uh, his testimony was that uh, like of that of the psalmist who declared, I would rather be a gatekeeper in the house of my God than to live the good life in the homes of the wicked. Family brother AC, brother AC for years, he, he, he served the Lord in this body of Christ as an usher. You heard all the rest of the things, but, but I'm zooming in on usher for a particular reason. You have to have a great servant's heart to be an usher. Say amen, ushers. I mean, dealing with the attitudes of folk. Help me, Jesus. Dealing with even sometimes the, the smart remarks and the uncooperative behavior of some people. I tell you, it takes a special kind of person. Amen. With the love of Jesus and a servant's heart to be able to do that. Can I tell you, it's not for everybody. You have to possess some unique qualities because an usher is more than just a seat finder. Uh, they, they, they are, listen to me, they, they, they are the meters and the greeters in the service of the Lord. They, they are uh, personal representatives of Jesus who meet people on a person-to-person -person basis when they arrive at God's house. 
They are the ones uh, with the smile, uh, with the warm welcome that helps set the atmosphere, helps set the tone for the worship experience. I mean, just as a farmer, that's why uh, Brother AC, I guess he loved to be a usher, amen, because he related the two together, a amen. Just as a farmer prepares the soil for planting, so does the usher seek to prepare the environment. For the conducive, uh, uh, to be conducive to genuine worship and fellowship. And as, as the first to greet an individual when they walk into the house, the usher makes an initial impression of the church. Lord, if they looking at you with a funk attitude, you think the church that way. I wish I had some praying folk. Ah, uh, they look at you with a frown and, and got a swirl in their neck. Lord, have mercy. That'll, that'll mess up your whole worship experience. The ushers are the ones who, 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 who you know, you know they, they, they are the meters and greeters. They're, they're the ones who, who has to keep things moving and in order. Somebody needs a seat. Yeah, the ushers will assist. Amen. In helping you find it. They, they, uh, if you need whatever you need, you, as a matter of fact, they, uh, they, they, they'll bring you a cup of water. A, 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 amen. Uh, somebody, somebody disturbing the service. The ushers, you know, their job, they're they, they, they going to handle it. In other words, the ministry of ushering is like salt, which makes everything taste better and serves as a general preservative against deterioration. And a good usher, like Brother A.C., amen, as a tang of joy. I, I, heard, I heard those reflections, amen, that declared he always had a smile on his face, amen. He always brought joy, amen. Uh, that's, that's what a good usher does, amen. And Brother A.C., just like salt, yeah, he is silent and, 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 and inconspicuous and sometimes Sometimes it's completely unnoticed. But so are the ushers, Brother Lovelace, amen. A, a, a good usher, a good usher, amen, provides, uh, it's, it's like a, the light on a lampstand. It brings warmth, it brings welcome uh, uh, for all who come into the room. And Brother AC, like the psalmist, yeah, declared, I'd rather be the one that's on the door in the house of the Lord. Well, I had to ask myself, Sister Fanny, why this desire? Why, 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 why an usher? Could it have been that he realized that in the house of the Lord is where he experienced, and not only him, but everybody could experience the presence of the Lord? Could it have been that he realized that to be in the presence of God was more of a blessing than being any place else in this world? Or was it that he realized that from his vantage point of standing back there at the door, a, a man as a doorkeeper, even though he could look outside behind them and see the troubles of the world on the outside, uh, he can look around and see the transforming power of God on the inside. Yeah, I, I believe that it was all of these things, but I believe that the real reason for Brother A.C. was that he knew what he was doing. He was doing it for the Lord. Oh, oh yeah. And, 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 I, and I believe that Brother A.C. made up in his mind a long time ago that I'm going to do all I can do while I can for the Lord. Uh, uh, I, I believe he, he, he declared that I'm, I'm going to give of my best to the master. Can I tell you? That's what he did. Uh, whatever I do, I, 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 I have to do it as unto the Lord because I, I, I want to honor the Lord. In, in, anybody, is that anybody else's desire? A, a, amen. The Lord who's blessed me. The Lord who's kept me. The Lord, the Lord who's been mighty good to me. The Lord who's given me all that I got. I, yeah, yeah, all that I am and ever hope to be. I want to make sure that my life is honors him. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I want to honor, honor, honor him. And, and family, uh, 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 yeah, Brother A.C. had a servant's heart. And, and I tell you, being an usher, a, a, a man, is, is something unique. And I, I bet y'all didn't know he, because he wanted to be like Jesus. And I bet y'all didn't know that Jesus was the original usher. Matter of fact, Jesus was the original M.G. Okay, I know y'all don't know what that is. He, he was the original meter and greeter. 
Okay, y'all don't believe me. Come on, open your Bibles. Ask Simon and ask Andrew. When Jesus pulled up on them brothers one day while walking on the shore, he told them, y'all come and follow me and I'll make you fishermen of men. And, and, and I tell you, Jesus was the original MG. As a matter of fact, when Jesus laid down his life so that you and I might be saved, he ushered in a new day for every one of us that were lost. Uh, yeah, he ushered in a way for us to have eternal life and when he covered our transgressions with his blood that's why he came to usher salvation into us the record is God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved and so I ask you once again brother Lovelace why be an usher well when it is, is viewed by some as a lowly position on the totem pole why would you want to stand back there uh, and be an usher always up on your feet all the time amen except when we put the comfortable chair back there for him uh, when, when, when you have to encounter folk who sometimes I told you are disrespectful sometimes are mean why would you want to put Put yourself in that position. We, 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 when, when folk can't return the smile and the joy that you are giving them, why? Well, I believe that the answer is, is because God, Brother Lovelace would tell you, because God has given uh, every one of us a gift. I say God has given every one of us a unique gift and ability uh, and a work to do for him. And for Brother Lovelace, uh, even though he did a whole bunch of other stuff in the house of the Lord, he identified with that of being an usher uh, because he understood that was the gift that God had given him. And Brother Lovelace uh, declared, I promised the Lord that I would serve him until I die. Uh, Brother Lovelace would tell you, I made a vow to the Lord that I'm going to give my best to the master. I'm going to give my best to the one who saved me. I'm going to give my best to the one who raised me. I'm going to give my best to the one who lifted me out of a world of sin. The one who kept me for some 81 years through dangers seen and unseen. The one who walks with me and the one who talks with me. The one who's been my my healer, been my sustainer, and been my provider. The one who reached down while I was in the muck and the miry clay and snatched my soul from a burning hell. The one who ever since the day uh, he found me has been my everything. Then the one who just a few days ago looked down and saw that my body was getting weary and put his hand on my shoulder and said, son, Look, well done. Look, come on. It's time for you to take your rest. Well done, Brother AC. You've been faithful over a few things. Now I'm going to make you ruler over a minute. Come on. You, you labor long enough in the vineyard. Uh, and, 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 and family, it was that day that the son Jesus met Brother AC and said, uh, Brother AC, come on and go with me to my father's house. I said, come on and go with me to my father's house because in my father's house, there's no more crying up there in my father's house. Ah, oh, come on and go with me because there is peace and happiness in my father's house. Matter of fact, everything is all right in my father's house. A few days ago, Brother Lovelace answered the call. And he boarded that morning train to glory. What you see here is just those earthly remains. Paul tells us, I got a new body. Matter of fact, I got a new heart. <laughs> ah, oh. Jesus told his disciples when they were struggling on the heels of him telling that he was about to leave them. Yeah. Let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. 
If it were not so, I would not have told you. Jesus said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. That where I am, there ye may be also. That's the promise for all of us who are connected through the blood of Jesus. But my question is for you, for, for all of us who are left behind today. Brother Lovelace stamped his ticket. I said he stamped his ticket a long, long time ago. Question is for each and every one of us. Uh, where are we on our Christian journey? Have we accepted Christ? Have we done as the word declares? Have we confessed with our mouth and believed in our heart and on the Lord that the Lord Jesus Christ is the son of the living God? You do know that he came that we all might have life and have it more abundantly. And we can only have the assurance that when we come to this point in our life, because we all going to get there, amen, just as sure as we're born, we're we, we going to die unless the Lord parts the sky before, before our t- we're we, 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 we going we, we gonna to have to travel this way. But I told you, he came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. He came that heaven would be our home. The question is, uh, have I accepted his great gift? Has I, have I accepted his offer? We don't have a service here where we don't extend the invitation to accept Christ Jesus. We don't take it for granted that everyone who walks in these doors have a personal relationship with Jesus. I didn't say nothing about joining no church. I said have a personal relationship with Jesus. Church ain't going to save you. The blood of Jesus is going to save you. Bible declares, if I confess with my mouth, believe in my heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, verily thou shalt be saved. If it's your desire, you heard this, this word, it has challenged your spirit. Ah, uh, and you, 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 you realize that you're outside the ark of safety. But you realize the day is a good day. You feel the tug of the spirit moving you. Just simply pray this prayer with me. God, I thank you for Jesus who died that I might live. I confess that I'm not right. Having been right and could never get right unless you make me right. So, God, I'm inviting you into my life. I'm inviting you into my heart because I want to be saved. Look, my brother, look, my sister. If you prayed that little simple prayer right there in all sincerity, I got some good news for you. You save. I say you save. The next step on your Christian journey, watch this, is to get into a Bible-believing Bible teaching, church of the living God, whereby you can grow in the grace and the knowledge of our Savior. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. The Lord has given and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Morticians, you you, you may come as we prepare to do a committal. Amen. Here. And family, I know and understand that uh, it goes without saying, your Emmanuel family is here, amen, to support and to encourage and to provide whatever it is that you need uh, on this journey. Amen. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Job declared, I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And I shall see God, whom I shall see for myself, and mine eyes shall behold not another. We brought nothing into this world, and it's certain that we can carry nothing out. The Lord has given and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. For as much as it has pleased the almighty God and his wise providence to take out of this world unto himself the soul of our brother A.C., we do commit his body earth to earth 
ashes to ashes and dust to dust. Please join with me in sharing the Lord's prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, <clears throat> but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. John declared, I heard a voice from heaven say, Right blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. From henceforth says the Spirit that they may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. Now may the spirit of our great God, may his power, may his comfort, may his peace, may his grace rest upon each and every one of you. And let everybody who knows that man named Jesus say amen, amen, amen. amen. and amen. God bless you. That's right. Hello. <laughs>